Hey, we opened another cliff top retreat. Good times, good times. All right. Thank you. Connor Ryan, thank you so much. The rinse in a row. Prank, please. I just need you to start me off. You don't do the first 1K words. I can do the rest. Okay, that's fair. It's the least I could do. How about Adelie's the Cinderwind? This is probably the best card, right? Unfortunately, Hostage Taker hitting enchantments is so outside of the color pie. Blue and black do not have enchantment ways to deal. That was English. I'm proud of myself. I really don't want to be red again, but good lord, they're just making it so hard to not be red. I think it's just, it's just Adelie's. Oh, and then we get past two at a giant. That's pretty good. All right. Well, I guess we're just red again. And there's also a Shivan fire here. I'm going to take the two at a giant. This is a four, four for four with upside. Unlike the rampaging guy, which is a four, four with downside. So I'm going to take the upside. And a Shivan fire. Everything's coming up Millhouse. And by Millhouse, I mean Frank House. That's pretty good. I would like this Academy Drake, but I'm not going to take it over a Shiv and Fire. You'll get caught up in the Shiv and Fire. <clears throat> Man. Good times. Good times. How do coin flips work on MTGO? They just flip them automatically for you. And it says in the chat whether you like won or lost. MTGO must know you're watching, because otherwise there's two red decks in a row is not really, that is not really my, my wheelhouse, so to speak. <coughs> what happens if you have a, a flip a coin in paper, but you don't have a coin? Um, flip a coin just means determine randomly. I assume you know that, though, and you're just asking to be, you know, to be funny. Which I feel bad now, because I ruined with with a real answer. Oh, a Sulphur Fall. Oh, a Weight of Emery. I was going to take this Sulphur Falls, because it's a fix. It's a, it's a good, it's a perfect land for our blue-red deck. But then I thought to myself, you know what? I like drawing three cards better. So I'm going to do that. And now I'm going to take this Drake. Also, Gideon's Reproach and a Spore Crown Thal. This is the second Spore Crown Thal that I've seen, so. I guess we'll take Deep Freeze here. That's a good card. This deck looks great already. Two cards are removal. Two cards are... Really good on commons. One card is a rare and one card is a really solid common. Get caught up in the crossfire. What up, Bacard 4? Warcry Phoenix? I'm not a big Warcry Phoenix fan. I might be a bigger Relic Phoenix fan. Relic Relic Runner fan, not Relic Phoenix fan. Like, it's really hard to attack with three creatures in this format because you just, sometimes it just doesn't, the board states don't really work out that way. Um, and I think I'd rather just have Relic Runner. Or short sword. Or run amok. Or, or snapper. <laughs> this spec's actually fine for us. I'm gonna take the relic runner. Yeah, Phoenix is good if you're playing not red. Or not blue. The sickness, guys. You can actually see it overcoming, overtaking my brain. Let's play Relic Runner dot deck and see how many Relic Runners we can get. Huh. 
I mean, the answer is we're at three right now. I'm going to take this Rona because I think it's better than Vandal and Seismic Shift. And we could get to a point where we can splash it. Divination is good. Our deck looks good so far. I'm a fan. <clears throat> Did I say that about the Phoenix? You'll slam it in your red deck every time? That doesn't sound like I said that. I'm going to look that up right now. I don't even believe you. I think you made that up. All right, Dominary set review red. Let's look it up. It's like Warcry Phoenix, so it's at the very end. I mean, I mean if that's a pop, basically, uh, I'm I'm, 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 I'm for a two two flying haste, like you do. Whenever you attack with three or more creatures, you may pay three mana if you do return. So battle cry, return this to the battlefield, tapped and attacking for three mana. This is actually great too. Uh, this is surprising because there's not many phoenixes, phoenix eye. Uh, that are that are uncommon and not rare, Shimon but fire. this set has a lot of surprising uncommons that are not rare. So I don't think this is anything to be shocked about. Um, what did I say? Battle cry? Yeah, battalion is what I meant from uh, from Gate Crash, Oath of the Gate Gate Crash. Gate, I like Danitha. I like Gideon's approach. Oath of the Gate Gates Gate Crash. Ooh, there are so many sets. Um, is it 2-2 two, two Flying Haste for 4? The the best part about this is not the mana you pay up front, because that's annoying. The best part is that for the rest of the game, as long as you can attack with 3 guys, you will have a 2-2 two, two Flyer coming back from your graveyard. Again, I don't think this is constructible. This is a very expensive... Four, like, you're going to play 4-mana Chandra tell me what you think about or 4-mana Warcry Phoenix, and this guy doesn't just doesn't win. So, that's unfortunate. Um, but in Limited, just please take this 4-4 four, four Flyer with Haste every time. I think I called it a 4-4 four, four Flyer with Haste. Maybe I just actually thought it was a 4-4 four, four for some reason. There are actually other Phoenixes that you can reanimate that get counters when they come back from the graveyard. And that might be what I was thinking. Alright, we're going to go Wizards again and just take this G2 Journey Mage. I wish Relic Runner was a... Oh, see? You get rewarded every time. It's pretty good. We're going to take this guy. And just hope we get more uh, more whizzies. Because right now we're just looking at these two. But that's a good sign. It's also 2-1 two for two, so I'm not even... I don't even care. Blink of an eye and a syncopate. A blinkopate. Sink of an eye. I just want to take all of these lands. Like, we've seen Isolated Chapel, Sulphur Falls... And a Woodland Cemetery so far. I just want to take them all and get like four per draft. And not play them, but just hoard them. So that when they go up in value, like 10, 10 tickets or whatever, I'll just have so many. But that's not really conducive to winning. Don't don't talk about my Wizzy's Water Sports, Drew. It's inappropriate. I'm going to take Blink of an Eye. I think it's better than Syncopate. Yeah, you heard me. I'm going to take this 1-3 Wizard. <clears throat> Ooh, Lich's Mastery. That is a that is a spicy meatball. Also, we can play this Garna and this Rona if we get one way to splash a black land. It's interesting. Oh, Tetsuko would be bonkers in this deck. All of our two drops are unblockable. That's pretty much it. But that's still good enough. I want to take the Garna just in case. I'm not going to play Arcane Flight or Frenzy. I might play Frenzy to Rage, but I think the, the potential of Garna is stronger. <sighs> Sentinel to Pearl Trident, huh? I probably just want the this guy. Makes our Blink and our Weight cheaper. Even Divination for 2 mana is good. I say 2 mana, but I'm just assuming you're tapping this to, to cast it. Um. Yeah, like if this was a wizard, I'd probably take this. But like, Rectorb, dude, I don't know. I don't have the details, man. You have to relax. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the, this guy. Like, 
we don't actually have relevant historic permanents to blink out. I think it works best with like sagas or planeswalkers that you can reset, but. Goblin Chain Whirler. That's a surprising pick. I will definitely take that guy. That is a pretty sweet card. I mean, Triple Red might be rough for us, but we'll make it work. I wish that Sulphur Falls came back, but apparently other people want those lands as well. Why aren't you a Wizzy? Historic spells. We have one, two... I think that's about about it. I'm going to take the Sorcerer's Wand. It triggers all of our Relic Runners and put it on like an Arcanist and it's two damage a turn, so... It's not terrible. It's better than anything else. I mean, Partic Wander is an option, but it's not a great option. That's a late Deep Freeze. I will gladly take it. Probably play it, too. Navigator's Compass. All right. Okay. Okay. That is a way to play those those black cards. Oh, the Lich's Mastery last pick. It's Destiny, guys. It's a sign. It was meant to be. Oh, Karazov Sengir Pure Blood. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Boy. Huh. Oh, boy. I mean, Wizard's Lightning is great, but... God, Foil Mountains are my favorite. You're right. I've made terrible mistakes. One more deep freeze to summon Mike. What does that even mean? That's hilarious. <laughs> Is it because it's ice? <laughs> oh, I got the awkward sick laugh because I'm trying not to laugh too hard. Oh, this guy's like a 4-4 that shoots things, though. All right, I'm going to take the Wizard's Lightning. I'm going to dislike you guys for it, just to be clear. Not comfortable with it, but I'll do it. This is a wizard doesn't do anything. I hate that this doesn't do anything. It just taps one guy and they lose the abilities. For double blue. I'd rather just have Journey Mage. Trickster kills Multani? Not really, though. Right? Like, once it's in the graveyard, you can still just... It gains its abilities back. Oh, you mean it just kills it straight up, is what you're saying. I get it. I get it. Uh, fire intervention might be necessary. They're going to go on the 7 spot. I like single paint. I like fire intervention. Fire intervention might be better because it does get rid of artifacts, and there are some. Alexa, stop! I don't. I don't know why she's doing this. Um, there are some problematic artifacts in this format. So, skittering surveyor, huh? Let's us actually. This might let us splash those black cards realistically, and I think it's significantly better than rescue. So. I don't care about any of these cards. How many kick cards do you have? Two? So this guy's basically just a 2-2 two, two for two. I'm going to take the run amok. It's a good card to have. Another surveyor? Hmm, interesting.
I'm going to take the snapper here. I'm going to have a lot of top end here. Frank had a twitchy stream due to a medical condition that was eradicated long ago. In those days, it was common for people to watch such things. Frank believed he possessed magical abilities and was drafted into the wizard forces of the day. Such be such beliefs have been debunked and are no longer found. That's not true. You can't you can't prove my my witchy ways. I feel like our deck is missing something, but it also feels like it's not. Does it make any sense? Does what I said just make any sense? I don't know. I like Memorial Genius. Memorial 2 Genius, not Memorial Genius. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, unwind is really nice to have. It's like a negate. Alright, so I don't care about you. I'd rather just play Rona and Garna with off of one swamp. I'll take Blood, blood Tallow Candle. Yeah, I definitely know that feeling of losing to to great decks or to decks that look really good. Losing with decks that look really good. I am definitely familiar. I'll take Dark Bargain if we're splashing. I, Edelise has been fine for me. I mean, it's just a like there's not that many flyers in this format, and she trades with most of them, right? Like, she trades with. Two twos and three twos all day. And if you do happen to have a bunch of wizards, she's just a wizard, kind of like a wizard lord. I also don't think we saw any radiant lightnings that, which is with that 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 draft, which is really sad. We probably did, maybe we missed them. I don't know, but I don't feel like we did. That's my thought. I mean, our last few picks were Elfheim Druid and Yavamaya Shepherd, so I'm pretty sure. What? Kerwin, thank you so much, man. Father Fats. What is that? Four fat stacks, Frank? What is that? Even? I don't even know what that means. Kerwin, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. But I don't understand the message. Dingus Egg, were there really zero in, in all, th all three of those packs? That's really weird. I, I don't I, I I don't I wouldn't say I have fat stacks. I have rather slender stacks, if you know what I mean. You should. You you were the one who established the rules. Um I like this, I like this, and I like this. This this is what I'm saying to you guys right now. Alright, me we'll go medium stacks. However, we are playing this guy, which means these might be greedy. I think we can cut a Relic Runner for sure. Yeah, we have a compass, but I don't like playing the compass is really what I'm where I'm at right now. Neros, it's impossible that you have zero stacks. You're both a sub and you've contributed bits, my friend. So. I don't know if the wand is any good. I think it's it's probably reasonable.
The problem is we don't have that many historic cards, right? We have Nabon and Skittering Surveyor. So the, the face value of, of this is not great. Um... Pinging is great in drafting, but this is only player or planeswalker, keep in mind. This is not this is not creatures. If this was creatures, I'd play it every day. <clears throat> God, I think Garn is very good. Frank is in the, in, in the stream house drafting some is it? He's wishing this is cube so he can play Niv Mizzet. Don't be fooled by his voice sounding hoarse. He's giving it all, giving it his all, going 3 0 with no remorse. Word, he may not even have Mike, but he's going to win this thrice, letting his neck stretch down to grab the ice. Okay, that's pretty good. That, 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 that neck stretch and throwback is pretty good. I'm going to take you. Fire Elemental is not terrible. Oh, God. I, I, I mean, 5-4 is actually pretty big in this format. How many Relic Runner triggers do we have? Like, one, two, three? Grumble. How many Wizards do we have? You got a Wizard, Hattie. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is actually a good amount. And then playing the wand actually does give us another trigger for Relic Runners. Not terrible. I almost want to put on Frenzied Rage on the Snapper. Makes it a 6-6 six, 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 six Menace. What about Shift? What is Shift? What are you saying right now? Seismic Shift? I'm not a big Seismic Shift fan. I don't think we're that aggressive either. I think it's I think it's fine in the sideboard. I think it's it's it has it'll have uses, but. I think this is good at breaking parity. Like, if we just have G2 Journey Mages on board and they have, like, 4-4 four, four, or 2-2 two, two First Strikers or something, um, it's nice to have something to actually deal some damage. We have to make one cut, though. This is actually a surprisingly difficult to... Uh, Cool choice here. So this is more realistic as far as the mana costs. Maybe you're a one drop. This curve looks a lot better when it's laid out like this. Like we have to make a cut. We're not adding more cards, guys. And rampaging Cyclops is pretty terrible. I have never been impressed with that card. This is like the longest deck building I've done for this format so far. Maybe just Divination? No, that seems worse. I'll just play 41. Alright. Good, good idea, guys. I didn't think about that. Uh, it doesn't matter if we're aggressive or not. I think run amok is still good. Like, it's still a trick that I want to have access to. That also triggers the deal. Like, it's just a, it's a, it's a removal spell when you're attacking. You know? Um, if they block, you just kill their guy or you deal them an extra three points. Like, it's, it's very good. And the trample is very relevant. Like, if they're chump blocking two-headed giant and it has double strike and we give it plus three, plus three and trample. Uh, Surveyor is still great even if you're not splashing. You know what? I'll keep it. Oh, 
Thank you. Dragos, Dragos, the MTG. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I'm going to kill this immediately because it's very powerful. It is powerful wizard. Hmm. Do I just play Chronicler here? No, it's just better to get a Shivan Fire. We can start dealing two damage next turn. That doesn't seem great, though. Does it? I feel like in the long... We have time. I feel like in the long run, getting back a uh, Shivan Fire for free is probably going to be better for us. We'll see. We'll see if it comes to bite us. Give him his little wand. I don't... I don't... I don't dislike your idea. I wish I... Oh, that was a good draw. Didn't have a... I'm gonna I might have to blow my nose again, guys. Uh, I will, of course, not submit you to such terrors, so... Wow. Painful. Painful. Oh, they have not hit land drops for quite some time, unfortunately. Alright, well, we're just gonna play Snapper next turn, then we'll Chronicler and get back our guy. This is pretty ridiculous if they have... Oh, they hit a, a third land drop on turn six. Alright, a fourth land drop. We did it. <clears throat> Alright, give me one second, guys. All right, we did it. It was it was touch and go for a little bit there, but what's my favorite stream? Even why is it mom's in the kitchen with onions? Um, well, that seems like the question has been answered, hasn't it? Oh, we just win the game with our turtle and our shivan. Shivan fire. You'll get caught up in the shivan fire. Well, that went pretty well. I don't know what they're playing, though, but... Not gonna, not, gonna, not gonna play lands, that's for sure. That's usually how that works. Oh, keep this hand. Okay, we can do this. We got this. This is a hand of legends. As soon as that mountain shows up, we are good to go. G2G, as the kids say. I will take it. See, Surveyor. This is the point where you're like, Surveyor, hey boy, I got that mountain already. I'm good to go. I got mountains on deck. Well, in deck, specifically, but, you know, it's, it's very similar. Get in there. And live here in Atlanta, just take a land out is always the solution. <laughs> Excuse
Excuse me. Baird is pretty problematic. I wish I had a way to get rid of that guy. We can actually go Arcanist, Wand, Attack for one. Let's do that. All right. That is correct. Surveyor is two cards. So it's basically like, oh, I see. So long, little gentleman. Two, three? Oh, I guess they're both attacking, so. Deal. Is this three to equip? Yeesh. God, what are we discarding here? Could just bounce this guy. Lightning bolt this idiot. You gotta waste your turn. I haven't been super impressed with the Eldest Reborn, to be honest with you. Three to equip to a wizard. A lot of options here. I mean, it's great, but like you're looking. Okay, let's look at like, each one. Sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. This is it's a three for one. I mean, that's a very broad way of putting it, right? We're playing a format where Saprolings is one of the top decks. We're playing a where Call of the Cavalry is one of the main cards, where the 2-3 the that you can kick to make two other 1-1s one is, is one of the best cards, right? It's also 5 mana. So you're not playing it early. You're not playing it on, like, turn 2, where they're getting rid of, like, their value cards. You're getting rid of, you're playing it at a point where, like, they either have extra lands to discard. Um, like, it's just, it's, 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 it's a slow card, right? Like, the, the reanimation is the best part. But, like, looking at my hand right now, I'm going to probably discard, like, I'll probably play Divination here. <clears throat> and... Uh, probably discard Mountain and, and, like, play Deep Freeze on this guy. Yeah, five mana reanimation is great, but you don't really. It's not like super broken and limited, right? And it's also like you're forced to play it two turns before you want to. You're not like I mean, you're, you're oversimplifying it, right? If I want to reanimate something on turn seven because you have a, a cool creature in your graveyard, I look at your cool creature and I target it and I reanimate it. With Eldest Reborn, it's not just a reanimation spell. It's not just a five mana reanimation spell. It's I look at your graveyard. And then three turns later, two turns later, two turns later, I get to actually take it. It's not this. It's not really the same. Plus, you can also get rid of it. Like there's invoke. There's a a bunch of ways to bounce it. I mean, I I don't think it's terrible. Don't get me wrong. I don't think it's a bad card. But I think I think it's sacrificing a creature in this format is not super impressive. It's my choice. That's a saprolink format, right? It's a token format. Discarding a random card, sure. Not a big deal. Reanimation, cool. All three of them together are cool. But I don't think the card is busted by any means. I really want to kill this guy. I really don't know what I'm doing here. <clears throat> Alright, well, just no blocks here, I guess. We'll discard Mountain. Like, I mean, so far, let's look at Eldest Reborn, right? It's gotten rid of a Skittering Surveyor, which I already got a land off of, and a Mountain for five mana. 
Now, if nothing else happens, they get to reanimate a skittering surveyor. That's just not super impressive. Calling me a broken card, huh? Okay, well, that's real mature, buddy. I will take two. Are they just playing mono legendaries dot deck over here? Of course we discard the land. It doesn't really matter. Like we want to get rid of Quende, I think. We can also Wizards Lightning this and then bounce you. Which is not terrible. Well, they're technically getting four cards out of one enchantment. You're not wrong. But, like, that on its surface is not enough to value a card, right? Like, that's that's on paper. That's literally four cards on paper. Like, I don't know. It's like if, if you browbeat and let your opponent draw three and they draw three lands and you're like, that's so busted. I'm like, no, it's just three lands. It is three cards. But, like, I don't think you can just evaluate it by the number of cards. Like, that's... See, now they can get their own Shauna back, which is totally fine. It's only going to be a 3-3 three, three now. I guess we don't even attack here. See, I was so I was so busy worried about this and like arguing how bad it was. I could have just waited to not target to, to target this. They might still get the skittering surveyor, but probably not. This is just a four four. You should change it from June Ren Fund to June MTG releases fund and the month is gonna take what's it what comes out in June? I don't even know what comes out in June. Yeah, that was a terrible turn. I was just so distracted. I'll trade useless 2-1 for your 2-3 and shrink your Shauna. Good deal. Good deal. Oh, I got one back. There's a core set in June? So, wait, what? Kermit the Frog, no worries at all. The stats seem strong. I agree with you. I'm not saying the stats, the stats don't seem strong. I don't think it's, I just don't think it's busted. Um. So, wait, there's a, Dominaria officially releases in, like, so May, right? This... This past week, Dominaria came out. So we'll say May. And then a course that comes out in June? That doesn't make any sense. It's got to be July. I feel like we're in really bad shape here, which is sad. They do only have two cards in hand. Yeah, Corset in June seems way too soon. It's like they're not even. Well, this is nine damage, so that's a little scary. I feel like we're in terrible shape here. Come on, wizard. Do your worst. All right, now we're talking.
Like, we, there's no 4 4 we want to kill here, right? I guess we're just draking and killing Quende. Also, Jolly Noggle, thank you so much. I didn't say it. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the help. You are awesome. We also have seven minutes less, which is pretty funny. Oh, wow. They're going to activate this guy. Oh, the EOT land into play. All right. All right. All right. I can see you're, uh, you like to live dangerously. I understand. All right. See, Eldest are born in multiples. Now, that's a thing. That's a thing. See, that's a whole different story. So, you know. Well, I'll be trying draft in MCG Arena Beta. I'm 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 trying draft in Magic Online regular client right now. That seems better to me, right? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I just have no desire. Like, like this client does everything I want in terms of playing Magic the Gathering, right? I'm, I'm able to do that. And... Oh, no, we're not blocking there. We're going to take seven here. I regret all of our life choices. Put you to 14. 12, rather. And then we'll die here. So we can, we can put him to eight. Hmm. Let's go to the next game. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. I always forget the lid to my 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 water bottle. It's very sad. So I have to do this like improvisational like covering it and shaking it. Michael's like, put your hand over it. I'm like, oh, it feels so weird though. Okay, but it works. I mean, it does work. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to bring in the Blood Tallow Candle. It seems like a good option for these problematic creatures. I'm going to bring an Unwind, too, with double things. Double things. Two things. Probably bring in the other Deep Freeze as well. We want, we want cards that don't kill your creatures, but rather leave them in play forever. Is this, is this game three? Did we just crush game one because they just didn't hit land drops? Also, what round is this? Is this round one? What's going on? I'm going to take a run of muck out. It doesn't seem great in this matchup. I'm going to take out the wand. We should probably be playing candle over the wand anyway. The Master of Liquids and their solid forms. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, what are we taking out? One more card? I'm just... Relic Runner's fine. Whatever. Relic Runner's... Relic Runner's been very unimpressive to me. I will play first. Okay. Wow. Water Sports Drew, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that uh, that Relic Runner was your cousin. Now I feel really bad. I apologize. <clears throat> Alright, we're just going to run out reds in case we draw another mountain and then we can just play Chain Whirler, Ye old Goblin Chain Whirly.
Really? Interesting. Well, I'm going to hold out hope for the Chain Whirler. Yeah, that's, that's about what I figured. I want a divination here. I think it's divination. All right, that's fine. So next turn we can whirl her. If they have a, if they have if they just play two saprolings here, that'd be fantastic. But that doesn't seem like their deck. Yep, that guy is good. It's good. It's good. If we had one more red, we can go Shiv and fire this guy and Chain Whirler and kill everything. That'd be pretty cool. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna... We're just gonna wait. I think. You just play Chain Whirler? Is that good? problem is we don't have any other effects like that so if we use chain whirler that's that Yeah, I'll just pass here. Josh VS, uh, Dom draft treated me pretty well. I think we're pretty consistent 2-1. We did a draft today, we went 2-1. I think we did two 2-1 drafts on uh, Friday, Thursday. Two three O's before that. Our, winning, our win percent's pretty good, I would say. Wait, what just happened? They get oh, they got memorial and and swamp. Okay. Wait, no, that doesn't that doesn't work. Oh, they didn't kick it and they played memorial. Is that right? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, uh, I'm getting over being sick, so. This is actually the moment we were looking for. Also, oh my god, with Nabon we get Chronicler twice next turn? Oh, that's insane. Ooh, boy. I'll take my Wizard's Lightning and my Divination back. Well, they're probably going to play Eldest Reborn because they have a thousand of them. I'm probably just going to sacrifice Train Whirler, actually. The value is pretty good on this. Maybe not. Or maybe. Actually, I'm probably just going to shiv and fire weight of memory here. Mill you. One Eldest Reborn, one Thorn Elemental in the graveyard. Okay, I think this game just ended. Yeah, our hand is insane. No beats. Have a good night, buddy. Or, you know, afternoon, whatever. Where you at? That's a good dude. This guy is first strike, though. I don't. Now my problem is I don't even know what to get back with this. We could just Blood Tallow Candle kill this guy and just keep the, the value train rolling. Could also blink him and keep up Unwind. I kind of like that. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, both of those are fine. Alright, so now we'll get Shiv and Fire and Weight of Memory back. Wait. Shiv and Fire.
Hand is a gas. This is like Value City, right? Sure. Hmm. It doesn't do much here, but it is good in general. Could just kill this guy. Blood tallow candle. Which doesn't seem terrible, actually. Oh, uh, I don't... I like I like board games. I don't get a chance to play a ton of them. But yeah, I would say I play board games. If only we got the wizard's lightning back. Uh, not you, I guess. Everybody else is fine. Oh, Alright, that's the end. Sweet! Got him. How much sawdust do you think someone could put in a Rice Krispie before people would start to notice? Are we talking about percentage? Like, what percentage of the Rice Krispie tree could be composed of sawdust? That's a good question. I don't think I have an answer for you, though. Let's edit the deck. I think the wand out for the candle. Candle's just better. I don't care about Relic Runner. I'd almost rather rather have Unwind in the main deck. Chain War is probably like a four drop. Blink of an eye is a four drop. Academy, you're six drop. Or a seven drop, you're two, you're a six drop. And this could be good. <clears throat> Alright. I think this is probably fine for now. This hand seems fine. I'll keep this hand. Uh, did I get the Magritte painting before or after seeing the Thomas Crown? Wait, but I, I've never seen the Thomas Crown affair. I did go to a, a, an art high school though, so I have uh, I've been a fan of art for quite some time. Some little note show. What's going on? Hope your uh, hope your contemplations go well. I can't say I have any real incentive to play this guy now, so I'm not going to. Yeah, I feel like we're poorly positioned against this deck. I will play Saperling, or Academy Drake here, because I'm not going to wait till turn 7 to play that guy.
Well, we're 100% blocking. You probably have fungal things, so it just... Huh. Intriguing. Most intriguing. Well, we're not blocking with this guy if they're attacking. I guess we can block here, but then we're not blocking here. So we might as well just save this guy to block the 1-1. One, one. What are you proud of that you never had the chance to tell someone about? Interesting. You know, I'm not entirely sure. Let me think about that. Can we an island so we can play this weight of memory? All right, that's actually kind of like an island. I accept that as an island. It also lets us attack with Academy Drake. And still have relevant blockers for all your things. Also, oh, we do have Chain Whirler, actually. I was going to say we have a bad matchup against this deck, but... Chain Whirler, guys. Yeah, Mike B would be like, Hmm, my dad. Mike would just make a ridiculous comment and not really have any real input. Oh, no attacks. Weight of Memory is a scary card because you have to target somebody with the mill for the mill part. And every time I go to target my opponent, I always think I'm going to let them draw three cards. And I don't want to do that. Got a Corrosive Ooze and two Forests. Well, I guess we're just getting back uh, Weight of Memory next turn. Wow. Rude. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Always attack first. Chain Whirler one time. That was not a Chain Whirler, but I accept. I will just pass here. We could have played Relic Runner, but we don't have any follow-up. We don't have a way to to put the put the unblockables on them. So I'd rather just be blocking here. Oh, that's awkward. Chaney. Fiery. Okay. I guess we're gonna wait here. Now we're gonna fire elemental and relic runner. Because next turn, we can Blood Tallow Candle like a big blocker. We have a lot of cards, though. We have Weight of Memory, and we have Memorial 2 Genius, so. I think we're doing well here. Here we go. Oh, for crying out loud. I guess we have Deep Freeze, which is pretty good. We just have to make sure it never dies. One, two, three, four, five. I don't want to mill ourselves because we have very valuable cards. Here's the problem. We want to keep up a red and a blue. Yeah, basically never attack with Fire Elemental. We're definitely tapping the, the Arcanist. That's 100%. But the problem is we want to keep up a blue for this. We also want to keep up a red in case we draw a Chain Whirler. And we can't keep four lands up. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We only keep three. So I guess we keep up red, red, blue. See how that works out. 
I'm going to keep milling them because I just don't care. Like, we may draw Chain Whirler, but we want her percent of Deep Freeze in hand, so I'd like to play around that. All right. Look at that beautiful blue-green Multani. All right, I'll just pass here. <coughs> Excuse me. Apologies. That's a good card, but we have we have good cards as well. Nabin. Fiery Intervention. Okay. So five for this, one, two, three, four, five. Pretty sure we have to just get rid of this guy. I don't think they're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put my money on them not having an artifact that we care about, so I'd rather just waste the fire intervention here. Or not. This guy has five. We can fire intervention that. Or we could just blood tallow. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three. We'll just blood tallow. That seems fine. What's the one conventional superpower you don't want? Uh, I would. I think telepathy. Any sort of mind reading ability, because I think that's just too much to handle. I think it gets real scary. Not scary, but like, it's overwhelming. We really have to find a way to win this game. Our Academy Drake's in the graveyard. We have a Relic Runner, but I don't think we have anywhere nearly enough. Violing, what's going on, buddy? Uh, we don't have nearly enough ways to give this guy unblockable. We can go Nabin and then hope our, our Journey Mages do it. Oh boy. Sure. Whisper. Okay. That's pretty good. I mean, you know we have Shivan Fire, right? No, you don't. I guess you don't. One, two, three. We have five power on board. And you can kill one thing. I guess you can kill Surveyor and Relic Runner. That was an easy choice. So two Relic Runners, we might have a game. Next turn we can, I can, we can probably draw some cards next turn. I want to wait till I have Nabin to play this guy because then it's just four damage. And increments of four damage are going to be relevant now, especially because we have Goblin Bar Goblin Barat. No, that was our last deck, wasn't it? There he is. There he is. That's pretty good. I mean, assuming we survive next turn, or, or you know, they don't top deck uh, eighth land into. All right, there's the eighth land. Here comes plus plus two plus two on all their guys. No, okay. Well, that's pleasant. I do not presume this is gonna work. Okay, it worked. The problem is if they ever get this guy back, he's just so good. God, Multani, why are you so good, dude? If I had a single counter spell, if we if we had the syncopate, I think we'd be in good shape, but Violing, I'm okay. I'm getting over a, a cold. So. I see. 
Well, all bets are off now, buddy. Did you just put a land in, in, in play from your hand for funsies? All right. 12-12, huh? I guess we'll chump... Oh, it's got trample, huh? Yeah, that card is not reasonable. Four, five, six, seven. Huh. We kill this. Three, four. So they block here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think we can actually kill them if we have enough, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just going to take it, and we're going to hope their last card is nothing. And it'll probably be something, but we got our fingers crossed. Is that... Oh, that's actually really good. That's definitely better than Journey Mage here. Oh, that that just wins us the game for sure. Wizards! Well, I think we'll have like two wizards. Ah, it's still two damage. Plus the run amok. Yeah, well, we just won this game. Get him! <coughs> and you're gonna block the hexproof, the big fat turtle, and then we just give it run amok, and then plus one, plus one, everything else, and then we just blah. That seems good, right? Oh, you're going to block that little gentleman as well, huh? Instead, rather. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, this is lethal. You have to do something. So. No. Okay. Well, you don't have to see run amok then. I wish I had one counterspell for a creature. One syncopate. That's all I'm asking for here. Three wizards, Hattie. Other deep, even other deep freeze seems good. So does unwind because they they do have Yogmoth's vile vile card. Also, Multani does cost six. Ideally, we can just kill them before that. Skull and V, love you too, buddy. Also, why does it have Trample and Vigilance? Does it have Vigilance? Does it have Reach? What doesn't it have? Reach and Trample. It doesn't have Vigilance, but good lord, man. That card is not reasonable. All right, we want to unwind, we want deep freeze. This is a fair we're taking out for those. Relic Runner, yeah, you're mediocre at best. You're a six drop, we know that. You're ideally a seven drop. You're probably a four drop. You're a one drop in this deck. I don't know, this deck seems good. My, my poor cousin. I kept one of your cousins in. She's still here. This they got divination? Ugh, that seems bad. I mean, I like Frenzied Range more than I like Seismic Shift, especially in this deck where they don't really have a way to deal with things. I'm going to take out Surveyor, I guess. No, oh, it doesn't feel good, but whatever. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. This hand seems great. We need one mountain. Looking for one mountain.
Daddy's... Oh, found it. Nailed it. Send me a mountain. Oh, right now. Nah, that's going to be in my head all day. Apologies in advance to anyone listening. Oh, that's sad. Well, I will not be aggressively dealing with that thing. Hey, I'll just play you. So this is seven mana, or it's really five mana next turn. For five mana, we can divination and blink. No, we can't. This doesn't reduce the cost. It just adds one. I get that confused. I get it. Conf I get things confused sometimes. I'm probably just gonna kill that. That island is getting ripped in half. This one. Is this what? Is it? I don't know what's happening right now. Sometimes I think you guys are a little too ridiculous and I just can't handle it. Suck gadgets and steal. My backdrop? Are you talking about right here? Right here? Oh, I see what you're saying. You're talking about right here. Right here. I got you. Okay. 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 So. One, two, three, f three, four, one, two. We can't do much here. Relic Runner is going to pop into my hand. Unwind? I like that. I guess we'll take two here. <coughs> Make four Sapperlings right now. You're just going to play Multani, aren't you? I'm less excited about that. Sure. Well, I'm not going to waste time messing with the green screen, unfortunately. I'm sure you guys are disapproving of that, but that's our life right now. Four, five, six, seven mana. We can blink of an eye this guy and then chain whirler, but I assume they're just going to sacrifice this in response. deep freeze on this guy they just sack it in response and then we can always the problem is that once this guy's on board like it's pretty bad I'm sure it sacks itself right you have to right sure Seems good. Not great, but it seems fine. Yeah, we'll just pass here. Alright, so next time we can play 4 4 Flyer. They're just going to play Multani. Oh! I see. Well then, can we get fiery intervention? Is that a thing we can get? I see. Can we get it even more now? 
Yep. The answer is no. Well, they still have to have a historic card. It's not like they're going to play Multani untapped their 8 8, right? It never happens. Oh, the old gain 10. That's a classic. All right, they did not have it. That's good for us. I'm going to attack for four here. Because we take three. So that's a decent trade. We also have Blink to, to do some shenanigans. All right, this dude's not... Not really getting the job done, it seems. I don't really have any incentive to play Blink of an Eye. It's going to be an island. Yep, okay. Well. Still thinks Unwind is a good... I don't understand what that means. I mean, it's a negate. Like, negates are good when you bring them in from your sideboard to combat powerful spells. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure we can't all have the pedigree of, of Sovereign 226. Some of us don't know how to play limited as well, so... Yep, Yogmos Vile offering. I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna. I'm gonna counter this. Oh, you thought it was main, so you made a comment based on something you actually didn't have all the information about, and, and the comment was inflammatory. Basically, you insulted someone um, to make yourself feel superior based on a situation you literally didn't have all the answers to. That's interesting. That's very strange that you would choose to do that. But, you know, what do I know? <laughs> oh, boy. Good times, good times. Yeah, I don't, like, as a streamer, as someone who spends a lot of time on Twitch... I don't think this is Twitch chat is a great excuse because it'd just be better. I don't know. Are you going to play Trogdor again? All right, Trogdor. Trogdor. That's from, uh... Oh, I see. That's sad that you would do that, but I accept. Oh, your creatures are dummies anyway. <laughs> So they can just double block here, but I think I'm actually fine with that trade. Or we can just not care because it's not going to do anything. We can just draw two cards next turn. That seems better. Also, Sovereign, no hard feelings, buddy. That's just, like, that's literally one of my pet peeves when people criticize, like, the choices I make. Especially when, like, they proceed to counter something like Yogmaw's Vile Offering, and it's like, oh, well, that seems pretty good. Run amok, huh? Run, it, run a muckety muck. Well... Yeah, they'd be at three right now if they didn't gain ten, so. Just that guy, huh? 
Three, six, and ten. We do you ten here? This is probably the best use we're going to have for this. So I'm going to use it. Put you to three. And this is lethal next turn. That's pretty good. I mean, straight up kills Trogdor. And this guy doesn't have trample, so we can block 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We go to 1. But they... Oh! Academy Drake winning the game! Alright, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Think of Trogdor, is anyone else aware of the Brothers Chaps made an official Homestar game with Celt... No? I had no idea about that. That's interesting. It's fascinating, it is. I'm just gonna I'm gonna write a th oh I forgot I didn't click this yet my bad guys sorry about that all right anyway I'm writing a thing <clears throat> I love point and click adventures Point and click adventures are basically my favorite thing ever. Maniac Mansion, that's a good game. I'll keep this hand. I'm going to put you on the bottom. Even though we do have a, some double blue stuff, I don't need a fifth mana source here. A sixth mana source with this Vidalian Arcanist. Oh, all right. Oh. Oh. How exciting. All right, that's fine. Oh, uh, we're just gonna play Relic Runner. We have anything to ramp into, and if we draw, if they don't play anything, we can attack. If we draw something historic, we can attack, so. Well, that's a dude. Good, good gravy. Probably just gonna shiv and fire that guy. Where is the GP this weekend? That's my question. Just making a guy now? Wow. All right. Well, that's better for us because now we can deal with slime foot appropriately. And... God, I almost want to play Adelie's first, but that seems bad for us. Maybe? Dallas? Okay. Hmm. 
intrigued. So play Adelise. We can still keep up Shivan Fire, but we're not going to use it. We're going to miss like one trigger, which is not a huge deal. They will be attacking with this guy. Which we could just deep freeze. They have three cards. Our hand looks good. If we attack with this and then we can block here and also shiv and fire it. You look at, I don't care about this idiot. I really just don't want them to get value out of this. I think we're actually just going to show and fire this now. We'll take five. Next turn we can add these and, and ah, we can't deep freeze. We're not going to be able to deep freeze. The problem is if we hit land, Shiv and Fire next turn is just so much better on Slime Foot, but then we're taking 10. I'm going to play this. I'm going to attack. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, that's actually fine, because we're not planning on killing that, so... That's actually pretty good. Nope, taking six. I will not block. Well, yeah, we're definitely getting rid of this guy now. Because that's yeah, a lot of damage I don't feel like dealing with. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, make a little slime boy. Um, we're gonna lose a point anyway, so we might as well just give you the life and not take. So if we if we sack this, like we're gonna take one and then you gain one, but you lose a one one. So sure, that was a pretty aggressive attack. I have no idea what this is. Yeah, that's fine. We're just gonna kill this guy and draw chain whirler, right? Yeah, then they all four hit this guy. That's not really worth it. I'd just rather have blocker. They have two cards. One card. Good good deal. Good deal. Oh. It's aggressive. Take three. Oh god. Of course you have a seven drop. So one, two, attack with everyone, but this is like a, it's a guy in the, in the middle here. Hmm. I mean, we're not dead. They have, they have the top deck here. We can take seven and, and we can block one Sapperling. I guess we'd have to block, yeah, we don't have to block the Dallas Ark because they don't have a. We 
can deal you six with this. Two with this. So it's eight. Next turn, we can attack you for two more. I really don't want you to get this guy back. I might just have to use this now because if we get any any if we get any uh, historic card, we get to actually cast Run Amok. Pernicious Dude, have a good afternoon, buddy. So it'll be six, and then four, and then two. But Run Amok's probably just better on this guy, right? Yeah, all right, we'll do that. Like, there's no way they don't attack here, so. Run Amok on two at a giant is pretty strong. Whether it's Menace or whether it's... Uh, Double strike. Also, if they alpha, then they only have one guy to block, so menace is good. I don't know. Excuse me. Why is it? It does. So, so your options are heads, heads, tails, tails, or heads, tails, right? Or tails, heads, I guess. So there's four. So yeah, it's fifty percent of the time, and when it when it doesn't do the two things it does are great. Double strike, which is four four double strike for four man is insane. Four four menace for four is insane, and then it's just a four four for four. Like it's a completely understandable rare. It can't be uncommon in this set. Like that's not true at all. Like this this set has rampaging cyclops at common. Is that what it's called? Rampaging. Oh no attacks. Intriguing. Uh, two at a giant is significantly better than the four four Bailoth. You're you're not gonna have to pay any more mana for the two at a giant. And Bailoth, maybe you get to seven mana sometimes in limited games. Um, I think a better comparison is probably this guy. So Slimefoot, Tatiova, Benthic are like all of those cards. But what is Benthic? Oh, Benthic Druid. Sure, it's same card. Um, yeah, Benthic Druid, like Tatiova and and uh, Slimefoot aren't going to just win you the game single-handedly. If you play either of those, ben Tatiova costs five. She costs one more mana for a 3-3 three, three instead of a 4-4 four, four with double strike. Um... And Slimefoot, like, if you play Slimefoot on three, you're going to have to spend every one of your turns after that making guys for it to really matter. And it's very easy to get rid of, right? Like, you can you can deal the three damage to it. Uh, you can kick a Shiv and Fire. Uh, this guy's a little bit harder to get rid of. It, just, it's, it, it seems very easy why it's, why it's rare. So you're at eight. We attack with everybody. I don't think we can actually attack with everybody yet. We can't put you to six. Like, all those cards are great. Like, they give you incremental advantage over turns. Song of Fraley's, 
Uh, Tatiova, Bentic, Bentic Druid. If you top deck a Tatiova with no lands, it's not that great. I mean, if you you can't play it earlier than turn five, really. Um, you know, but I mean, like this guy's great if you if you draw him on turn ten or if you draw him on turn four. He's just awesome. We get a Jace yet? I don't. Oh, I see what you did there. I don't know what to do here, actually. This is a very tricky attack, I think. I mean, I guess we just have to wait one turn, right? We'll just attack with this. They'll go to six, and then we'll have the lethal with the run amok. That is a good Jace meme, though. I like that. I'm a fan. And then we just hope they don't do something busted in their end step. They didn't. Okay, so we're good. Sorry to speed up from the sub. I sub and then had to go to meeting. <laughs> Dragosi, I'll try to forgive you, buddy. Not not a huge deal, my friend. Not a huge deal. Don't get fired. That's uh, that's more important. Do they have vicious hunger? They can't, right? They're just going to win the game here. Sure. Can't be eviscerate. It's got to be vicious hunger. They didn't cast it in response. All right, we just win. Cool. Seems good. So they have like the four, the five, five, they have slime foot. They have a lot of good creatures in their deck, which is pretty disheartening. We have a lot of removal though. It's good. Deep freeze probably wants to come in. It's good against slime foot. It's good against the five, five. It's good against thorn elemental. It's just very good. I mean, it prevents us from getting it on the ground a lot. I'm taking a relic runner out. Sorry about your cousin water sports, Drew, buddy. But I work in college esports recruiting. Is that work not? That sounds awesome, dude. Wow, Dragosi, that sounds sick, buddy. I will keep this hand. See if we can go Drake into two at a giant. If we get another mountain to do that, that's pretty good. Also, we're two one right now. Help a game. It's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, well, now we're just hoping for Mountain Mountain. Oh, Chain Whirler. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. let's have it happen one time. I also didn't think this deck was that good, but it's a learning process. No offense, I, I'm none taken. I blame water sports Drew's cousins mostly. Post combat slime foot. Oh, girl from the ashes. I don't even care about that. If I have girl from the ashes or uh, surveyor in my deck, like in multiples, and I don't play a third color, I almost feel bad. There we go. See, you got it. Dang it! So close yet so far. Whatever. We'll get there. I mean, at worst, we have this guy. Oof. Main phase dark bargain, huh? Looking for them lands, boy. I think Grow from the Ashes is great. Ramps you to five. Ramps you to eight. I think it's fine. Plus, like, it's, it's great to be able to splash in this format. There's a lot of, like, really splashable, cool legends in this format, so. I also like they didn't see Chain Roller in game one, because maybe we can get, get him? Get him? Well, not yet, I guess. 
fly away, little... Our hand is pretty stacked right now. We have three removal spells. Well, two removal spells. And uh, draw three. Two at a giant with a run amok and a chain whirler. It's pretty good. And they're only at six here, so they can't play their... Uh, their dinosaur that shoots. Their shooty dinosaur. Just looking for one more land here. For the five mana, five mana... Five mana, triple red cards. But if they don't deal with this guy, we just run amok. It's, oh, they're just going to play this guy. All you have to do is wait one turn. I'm intrigued. That's interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's fine. That'll do. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, Manasio. Okay, we did it. We did it, boy. They know we have run amok, so I can't imagine they're gonna. Well, they got a double block, right? They can't. They can take. They can take four. Here comes Adam at will. In before Adam at will. Put you in the front. Yep, out of it will. Oh, that's very good. I feel bad about my life choices now. It's pretty good. Oh well, we'll trade. Hmm. It was a three for two. We lost to Allosaur and Animus for a run amok Shivan Fire and two at a giant. Seems fine. I, I'll accept that trade. If you're kicking this, that's cool too. Here comes old slimy McFooderson. Now we have mana for both of these, which is good. We're winning the race. We got that chain whirler on online. I think we could wait a turn to chain whirler. Or we can just put the pressure on. Let's just put the pressure on, I guess. I don't want to get greedy. I'd rather just have another body on the board. Like, they're 11. This is 5 damage. We can kill whatever they play. Assuming it's not the 8-8. Eight, eight. Mill the slime foot, and we'll play a relic runner. And hope you don't have like, well, you can't have like Urza's Bombrunus Blast because then you don't have a legendary. So you have to have like four mana legendary, non-white, and then play it. Oh god, here we go. Oh, there it is. There's a Yargle, but I don't think that's gonna do it. I do not foresee it happening, my good sir. My good sir! I don't want to mill myself. I think the, the benefit of milling my opponent is better than milling myself. Why, why, what, what black cards do I care about them, about milling? Like, Ruler does, yeah, like, they can't block Yargle, but i still rather just, like, they could block here and go to one. I'd rather just kill this guy and try to win, but. Soul Salvage? I mean, so, if they want to play Whisper and then, like, reanimate something. So, if they have Whisper in hand, they have to wait a turn to untap Whisper, and they have to actually, we have to actually hit something. Like, if, if all that's going to happen, all right, you got it. Like, they're just going to draw those cards naturally anyway. Like, you're only milling three cards. Like... Oh, 
Well, that's desperation there. Oh, good games. All right, good games. Good the games, unless they kill us here. Oh. <laughs> that's a noble victory. I think you should mill yourself even if you don't have strategy. Uh, I don't think that's true. I disagree with that completely. Uh, a lot of people think r milling is completely random. Like, that's the, the common conception, right? Like, oh, it's just a random three cards off the top of your deck. I don't actually, I don't actually subscribe to that philosophy because there are certain cards in limited uh, when you're not building your own deck, right? When you're not responsible for all the cards that you put in your deck. Uh, you can't, basically, you can't choose the cards is what I'm saying. Um, that you only have one or two of at most. So if I have like a fire intervention in my deck and I actually absolutely need it to deal with something like a black blade reforged, I don't want to mill that. And I lose a lot of value from the risk of milling a card like that. So while a lot while, while most of the time it's definitely random, it's definitely a random mill. You're you're just milling three random cards off the top of your deck. Um you, you, there is value to be lost from doing that because you have specific answers or specific threats that you may need to break through. Uh, whoa, that's completely wrong. Oh, well, I, I, I guess we just agree to disagree then. This is, oh, well. Uh, yes, but only one of those, so you are likely as to mill yourself closer to drawing it as you are to mill it away. Um, that's actually not true, because if you mill it away, it's gone forever. Uh, whereas in the other situation, you're still, both situations could still leave it in your deck. Only one of the situations gets rid of it from your deck completely. Like, that doesn't make any sense what you're saying right now. Like, one of the situations, you have a non-zero percent of getting rid of it forever. The other situation, you don't. <laughs> that's basically it. Like, it doesn't, it's not tricky. It's not, I don't think that's hard math. Like, my point is, if you have a risk, if you have a chance to get rid of it forever... Don't take that risk. That's it. Like, I'm, it's, I, that's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, smash those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon. Patreon.com slash And I'll see you next time.